Hey friends, how are you? Yeah, making some adjustments here. Okay, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like your hair? I'm sorry. Okay. You want it shorter? Okay. Hi guys, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> she's reading. Uh, she's been reading all the comments since you guys came in. She's saying I love you to everybody. She said to tell everybody that she loves them. Hi everybody, welcome in. Thank you for coming in today. I appreciate you guys. Uh, hi Lisa, hi Leone, hi Diana, welcome in. Hi Giselle, hi Yanda Rose, hi Loopy. What? You don't want it? Oh, you want coffee, okay. I wasn't sure what she wanted. Okay. <laughs> How is everybody today? I hope you guys are all doing well. Staying safe in all the things. I'm on vacation. Can't you tell I got the vacation shirt on? I mean, it's not the season for it, but I'm on vacation. I thought you were drinking coffee. Yes, I thought you wanted coffee. Okay, drink coffee. She's trying to do that. It's coffee. She's telling you guys she's having coffee. I got her the llama mug. Yeah, the kitchen <laughs> for Christmas, llama mug. I didn't show you that. <laughs> I forgot to show her the mug. It's a llama mug. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, she's trying to sass me so soon. <laughs> Anyway, hi everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, the, the screen's going so fast. Hi, Mishy. Um, I saw someone else saying hi to you, so hi. Hi, Desi. Desi's crochet cubby. Welcome in. Hi, Nancy. Welcome in. Hi, Jax. Hi, Lucas. Um, actually, I need to do something with that. Um, sorry I'm shaking. Okay, there. Okay. Welcome in. Hi, everybody. Um, I turned the speed down and it's still going fast. So, here. She's saying, everyone's saying happy birthday to her. Her birthday is March the 3rd. And I had the year wrong, guys. Um, I thought she was... I thought she was born in um, 1943. Well, she was born in 1944, and she'll be 80 years old come Sunday, March 3rd. So the Sunday Live will be a little little more special because she, she's going to be 80 years old. So I should have known better, you know, but mistakes happen. She'll be 80. And so, yeah, we're going to do a thing for her on Sunday, friends. It's going to be all the things. So I ordered her a little cake. I have balloons coming. I have gifts uh, already for her in the car. So it'll be a thing. Um, if you happen to be available, stop by and come on to the live and um, watch me spoil my mother. <laughs> oh, I love spoiling her. I don't know why, but I do. She's mom, you know, I only have one. Mm. I was in a rush. I didn't do her hair all the way first. Yeah. I didn't do her hair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. She wants me to cut her. I usually cut her hair. And when it gets too long, she gets fussy. She's like, Juan, I need you to cut my hair. You saw her making the sign. Cut. So, yeah. You enjoying reading everyone's words? She's saying everyone's saying happy birthday. 80 years old. Yes. They can't believe you're 80. You look so young. <laughs> Born 1944. That's what she said. 1944. Yeah. It's this bad lighting. <laughs> this overhead light. Like, I have to do something about the Next time, we're going to have another light in here. But yeah, the light. Strong. <laughs> Hi, everybody. 
Welcome in. Thank you guys so much. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Zoila. Welcome in. Um, hi, Mimi. Hi, Star. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Janine. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Mary. Hi, Karen. <laughs> hi, Skeendalus. How are you? <laughs> hi, Danny. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Kim. So, yeah. Lots of things planned for this live. Things I just want to go over. I want to talk with you guys. Mom has been reading the comments since before the live. We usually come in here about 5.30 and I set her up and all. And so I give her the iPad. So she's been reading off to the side. Um, she's been watching everything and she's so happy about it all. So, yeah, all the things. <laughs> oh, hi, Beth. Welcome in. Hi, Sam. Mindfully crocheted. Hi, welcome in. Uh, all the folks are here today. Thank you guys all so much for showing up. I really appreciate that. Adele, hi. How are you? I really appreciate you guys coming here um, on a Sunday evening at that. Everyone's getting ready for their work week and everything like that. And so, yeah. Anyway, tons of things that I want to go over with you guys. I have some giveaways as I normally do. Just little thank yous for stopping by on my live. Nothing extravagant, but just, you know, a little thank you for stopping in and having a good time with us. Okay. Um, hi, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Jen. Welcome in. Hi, Grace. <sighs> okay. Hey, Nina. Uh, I keep calling you Nina. Sorry. Lynn hi, welcome in. <laughs> the screen goes so fast, I get the names mixed up. But I always, I've done that before. I was accidentally calling you Nina, but your name is Lynn So anyway, sorry. Hi, Julie. Welcome in from Australia. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, huh? Wow, that's so cool. Anyway, all right, so listen, I, I need to get started here. So um, first, I want to talk about my friendship beanies because I just rolled out the third one. Um, yesterday, I believe. It's a lot of fun. I've been ironing out the kinks on the whole thing. If I haven't reached out to you, if you're a content creator and, you know, we've spoken, um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to reach out to, to you guys because there's still more, uh, more people that I have to get a hold of. So if I haven't reached out to you yet, please don't think I'm shunning you. I will reach out to you in due time, I promise. <laughs> it's just the timing. Um, anyway, here are the first three beanies. I just want to cover bases with you guys really quick. I'm sure you've seen the videos. I'm sure you've sold all the things. But I, for my own sanity, I want to share with you guys. So this was friendship beanie number one. And this had um, two friends of mine from on this side. They don't have YouTube accounts. But Mom and Nancy from She's Got Yarn, her stitches are on the first one. Nancy over at She's Got Yarn, she made a hat, but she had... The ponytail cut out. Check out her channel. It looks really nice, and she did it in my favorite color. She also did um, on TikTok, I believe. She did a whole short on there, so check that out. It's all the things. Thank you, Nancy, for doing that. True sisterly love. And uh, beanie number two is this one here, and mom stitches on here for the single crochet. Um, Gary's camel stitches on here. Gary from Urban Yarn. Hi, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, yes, Nancy's stitch on here for the first one was the extended single crochet. Um, and then Mom's was the single slash double. That was the first one there. And then for the second one, Mom also came up again. And hers was the single crochet. Gary's was the camel stitch here. And then D, um, D came up for the shell stitch. So these creative hands, um, she came up as well. Uh, Diana, she's one of my mods. She's in here tonight. Hi, Diana. Her stitch came up, the V stitch, and then Jax from Jax's Creations. <laughs> Nancy, you didn't have to do that. Oh my God. Look. Ah. Nancy, that's your sign name, by the way. You know that. I told you. Nancy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so cool of you. Thank uh, you so much, Nancy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But, yeah. No. Just because she... <laughs> My mom is spoiled. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Nancy. 
That was amazing. Mm. I appreciate that. Mm. But Jax's stitch came up on this one here. This is the nubbly stitch. These little bumps and things. Mm. This came up from uh, that. So there's that. And then uh, the third one. This one mm. here is <laughs> Jax. She also came up. Twins in a stitch. What? Okay. Twins in a stitch. And uh, Becky came up. She's one of uh, my people from uh, Facebook moderators. And she's in here, I think. Half double crochet. And then my other moderator came up. The bean stitch. Nerf. It's short for Nefertiti, I believe. It's a nickname. But anyway, the bean stitch came up. And then uh, the star stitch came from Thriss. From Thriss and Stitches. I don't know if she's in here tonight, but she is one of my moderators. This is my favorite one so far only because, well, first of all, it's the color, right? And then on top of that, just the way the stitches fell, it's all the things. So there's that. So you remember you and I talked about Mishy? Remember the sign name? Did you decide? So, Mishy, my mom is doing your sign. So, this is your sign. So, what, you know. So, what it is, guys, is um, when you're, you're given a sign name. So, like, unless you're given a sign name from a deaf person, when you finger, when, when you tell people what your name is, you have to finger spell it. Um, until a deaf person, like, it's, I, I don't know, it, if it's an unspoken rule or whatever, but when a deaf person gives you your name, um, that's the name that you go with in sign language. And a lot of deaf people will ask you, like, who gave you that name? And, you know, she, Mishy can always say that my mom gave her that name. So, um, so far we have Nancy and we have Mishy. <clears throat> so thank you so much for the super chat, Christine. I really appreciate that. So, um, if Mishy, if you're in here, um, I think you're in here. I'm not sure. But if you're in here, mom did sign your name. It's Mishy. It's three three fingers, bend over, and go like this. Mishy. Okay? So she named you. There it is. <laughs> Guys, check out her channel, please. Ugh, she's another one. She's got great content. And I'm not saying that because she's one of my sisters from another mister. I'm saying that because I really love her content. She's fun. And go to her lives, too. Check your notifications. When they come up, just go to her live because she's all the fun. Okay? So there's that. Okay, now, there are some projects that I've been working on that I've been dying to share with you guys. It's crochet. So I have been working feverishly on this. I started it on Friday. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing two of these. I'm going to do one by myself because I love reading the book. I love reading patterns. I don't know if I ever told you that, but I do like reading patterns as well as following tutorials. So Nancy over at She's Got Yarn gifted this to me. And look at this, guys. She autographed it. She gave this to me in January 23rd of 2024. I'm going to have this forever because she gave it to me. It means a lot. So anyway, I started it on Friday and I have the entire mandala finished. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have done so far. And so parts one, two, and three of Sophie's is completed. And I decided that I am using um, Karen uh, Jumbo Ombre. And the colorway is called Sunset. Oh, she didn't see this yet. <laughs> this is the first time she's seeing it. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Do you like it? Yeah. I made it, the book. Yeah. Nancy gave me the book. Yeah. She said, that was nice of you, Nancy. Of course it was. <laughs> anyway, cut off. I cut off because I wanted to show you guys. But look at the crab stitch. At this point, I mean, I should be a professional crab stitcher. I mean, seriously. 220 stitches all the way around. But anyway, the next one that I make, I'm going to be doing it uh, with a group of people. Me and Mishy have been talking about it, and we may be coming up with a group 
and we're going to be working together and, you know, we'll figure out the details, but we're going to be doing Sophie's as a group. So if anyone's ish interested, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So mom, the just yarn. Okay. Remember those little situations? She, g she gave me a whole bunch of these. Okay. So this is where I'm at so far. Each color is one of those skeins, and I'm going to continue doing that until, I don't know, until I stop. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Anywho, um, I'm really loving, I, I'm really loving this. So, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No idea. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so no rhyme, no reason, guys. I, I'm picking out of the bag. It's going to be one of those things where it's so ugly that it's amazing. <laughs> the colors should not work together, but they're going to because, you know. So, yeah, as you can see, I do lots of grannies. I have lots of fun with them all. Um, plan on a lot of Boggy Creek blankets for granny squares because I whip them out. This is probably two days worth of work, two little sessions worth of work because it's mindless. I don't have to look at it. I just watch, you know, YouTube channels. I catch up on all the things. So yeah, there's that. Okay, I want to do a giveaway. We've been on for 15, 16 minutes. I want to do a giveaway. So if that's okay with you guys, I want to give some stuff away. Oh, wait. But first, I made a hat for mom. I don't know if you guys have seen it on socials. I posted it. I don't know where I posted it, but I posted it. The Jasmine stitch hat. Okay, she hasn't seen it. She, she has, I put it in a bag. I hid it. She has no idea. You guys want to see her reaction to this? Because let me tell you, I think my mom's going to love this. You guys ready? I have a gift for you. You want to see it? Okay. I made something for you. Yeah. You want to see it? You excited? <laughs> you sure? Okay. She has no idea what's in here. Ready? No, I made it. I made it this morning. Wait, I got to tell you something first. Hold on, let me tell her the story first. My friend, my friend Crystal, well, all of our friend, Crystal, she's got um, a channel on YouTube, right? Her name is Bag O Day Crochet. She teaches crochet and everything. Anyway, she made a hat last night and I saw it and I was like, that's perfect for mom. I want to make that for you. So I woke up this morning, I said, okay, I'm not doing anything else until I make this hat for you for today. So I made it and I hope you like it. <laughs> here it goes. All right, here you go. Here, I'll pull it out, I'll pull it out. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> this is the hat. <laughs> she's telling the head that she she's telling Matt that she loves him. <laughs> so look good. I bought that at the store. She's asking me where I got the head. I bought the head at the store so I can show people what the hats look like. <laughs> Give me the head. <laughs> you want to try it on? I hope it fits, guys. Give you guys a close up view. It's a continuous situation happening here. And let me tell you, I just need to shout Crystal out for this because I am petrified of the Jasmine stitch because you read about it and people say it's difficult, it's hard. She stayed with us through the entire crown, which is like the most difficult part. 
And then once we got to the sides, she told us what the multiple was. And before you know it, I was done. So even I, with all of my experience, I was petrified of this. And I'm very proud of myself for being able to get this done. So thank you, Crystal. If you're lurking, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, I hope this fits. She likes it pushed back for some reason. Yes. If it's perfect. If it's perfect. <laughs> it looks good. Wow. Look. Looks good. She loves it. I know she loves it. <laughs> She likes her hats pushed back for some reason. See how she's pushing it back? I don't know if it's something they did back in like the 50s and 40s and whatnot, but she doesn't wear them like we do. Like, you know how we wear them down here? She's like this. She wants to be seen. She wants to see all the things. You know it's supposed to be worn down, right? You push back, why? You want to? Okay, well. Uh, if you go outside, you put it down? Okay. <laughs> It's her hat. She wants to wear it how she wants. <laughs> so who am I to say anything about mom's hat? <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> because she can. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Nancy. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, me, me, okay, you guys probably don't know this, but my friends that are on here, um, I can shout you guys out, like Mishy, like Nancy, like Diana. There's a whole bunch of you guys that I talk to my mom about. And I was telling my mom about Nancy and how she's got fur babies and dogs and things, and how when she's doing her yarn, she's always got her dogs in tow and things like that. And so it was a 20-minute conversation about her dogs. And so she was like... The lady with the dogs, is that Nancy? I said, yeah. She's like, really? Wow, okay, now I'm connecting all the dots. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you guys are talked about quite frequently. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, all right, I wanna do a giveaway if that's okay. I have some mystery bags here. One bag is all ice. Another bag is an Aragurumi kit with some, like, Joann's. No, it's Michael's stuff. And then this third one here is a hodgepodge, but it also includes one of these gumdrops. So we have a newbie here. New yarn. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet, but, yeah, one of the mystery bags will have one of these on here. You okay? Yeah, okay. Where's the brush? <laughs> Hold on, guys. I can't have her sit here looking like that. One second. Sorry. Okay. I just need to fix her hair really quick. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, it's not perfect, but whatever. It's better than it was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's telling me it's perfect. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> but it'll do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She's funny. I have yarn that I bought for her. It's just like a little a few cakes or whatever of um, cinnamon cakes. But I think she's going to like it. But first I want to do some giveaways because we're 24 minutes in. I don't, guys, I don't, I know that I don't have to do giveaways, but I like doing it because you guys watch my videos and you see all the yarn that I have and I like sharing. So if I can share, I will. So... I want to do a giveaway. 
You guys like my shirt? So this is my vacation shirt. I mean, I don't know. I'm on vacation until Thursday. So why not? I'm doing a staycation. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, do you guys want to know what's in the bag? I like I always say mystery bag. Do you guys like the mystery better? Like, do you think that would be cool? Or do you guys want to like see what's in the bag first? Because I don't know. Part of me is like, well, what if they don't like what they get? But it's free. I mean, don't we all like free? Um, do you guys want to see? Okay. So, hold on. All right. So this is the Aragurumi one. Yeah. This is the Aragurumi one. A skein or two must have fell out. Anyway, um, we have here the Impeccable. It's like pinks and like maroons and whites and things like that. Um, just Impeccable yarn here. Okay, I won't tell them all. I have three. I'll do this one, and then the other three will be a mystery. Or the other two. And then I also have here this Aragurumi kit. It's the Llama. Okay? So, this bag will have another... I dropped a, a thing of yarn, so I don't know where it went. Anyway, I'm going to put something else in there. Okay. So... For this first one, I think the word, we're going to pick a word, mom's going to pick and all the things. So um, the other two I will make sure are mysteries, okay? Because I was seeing mixed reviews here. So like the other two I'll keep as a mystery, um, but just know that one of the other two will have this in it, okay? So um, I'm going to pick an easy word, friends. I think um, the word we're going to pick is blue. So go ahead and type blue in there. And all the things and if you haven't given me a thummy can you guys please do that it really would uh, help me out let me slide this up many people the words blue pick you know yeah okay so I'm gonna count back five four let me wait a second. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Mom's about to pick. And okay. Okay, so our soul's journey. The person's name is Our Soul's Journey. Congratulations. You won this bag here. It's not a mystery, but you won the bag. And I need you to email me at hookedcreations123 at gmail.com. Our soul's journey. Hookedcreations123 at gmail.com. Okay? Thank you so much for being here. And <laughs> I do have to share with you guys something. For the first time since I started my channel, friends... <laughs> I've experienced a decline in subscribers. I am so shocked by that. I logged in and I was like, wait a minute. I'm losing subscribers. What did I do? <laughs> so I found out that that's something that happens naturally. But I, I, I'll i be honest with you. I, I was a little shook. I'm like, what? Yeah, I lost subscribers today. That's okay. Doesn't mean, I mean, listen, water off a duck's back. You know, you can't please everybody. <laughs> I appreciate the people that are around. I appreciate the ones that stick around. Just know that, you know, what you're getting, what you see is what you get. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not fake. I don't hide things. You know what I mean? I, I realized that YouTube is very fickle like that. You'll have a, a bump up in subscribers and then it'll drop off. It happens. Um, it is what it is, you know? I mean, not complaining, but I lost about a hundred subscribers. 
<laughs> for some of the little channels, for the smaller channels, I mean, 100 subscribers is a lot of people. You know, for me, I mean, it's still a lot of people, but I'm thinking to myself, well, it can't be me because if there was a problem, then I'm sure I would have heard about it. But, you know, it's okay. I just appreciate the ones that, you know, are around. I th and then I, I, th I thought maybe it's the sign language. I thought, you know, I'm trying to think like, what it, what is it about my channel that caused me to lose them? And what can I do to keep them? You know what I mean? So I will be putting a, a post on the community tab. I want to hear back from you guys. Like email me, talk to me about, you know, something that could be improved with my channel. Is it the lighting? Is it my speech? Is it what I'm wearing? It doesn't matter. I take all of the feedback because I just want to be good. I want you guys to enjoy watching me, you know? And please, I want that feedback. I don't care how rough it is. I won't take it personal. I would love for you guys to tell me exactly how it is because I, I want to be that channel. <laughs> I want to be that channel, you know what I mean? So... I'm working really hard. You guys know that, all the things. But I want to be a channel that you guys love going to. I know you guys, that's beside the point. But I'm just saying, you know? <sighs> Hugs to all of you guys. You know what I mean? You guys are great. You guys are the most supportive bunch of people that I've ever seen since joining YouTube. And I'm, I'm not just saying that. Like, you guys give me all the things. <laughs> You guys are great. So I think what I'm going to do is just wait for the feedback, friends. If I don't get feedback, then I'm just going to do business as usual. Just, you know, someone, and I think Ola Joe, Ola Joe posted a short a while ago, and it was about growing and change and things like that, and it really resonated with me. You know, growing channels, something along the lines of you can't grow if you're doing the same thing. You can't expect, you can't expect different results if you're doing the same thing. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it really resonated with me in a positive way. So Ola Joe, I want you to know that that hit a spot. And that's someone else you guys should check out. She does these amazing sayings, these, these shorts and things. If you guys are not subscribed to her... Please subscribe to her channel because she's awesome. She's such a good person. She's refreshing. She's a breath of fresh air. You guys know this. If you don't, please go to her channel. For me, tell her I sent you. <laughs> tell her I sent you. Love that. Thank you, Tat Mama. Amanda. Okay, so Amanda. Amanda. So um, she sent me happy mail the other day. And the beads and all the things, the hat and this and that. The last live, you know? And I I don't know if I did it on that live, so forgive me if I, I missed out on it. But um, I wanted to shout out her channel because I didn't realize um, how small her channel was. I thought she was this huge channel. And I go on and I'm like, no, 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 wait a minute. Why is she not being seen? So she's someone else. Tat Mama 73 if you guys are not subscribed to her channel, can you at least do me the favor and go check her out? Because she does these late night, uh, these late, late, I can't talk, these late night situations. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a whip and I'm like, who can I watch right now? She pops right up. And I'm like, I watched her last night. I couldn't comment because I was working on my mandala, my Sophie's Choice, but I watched all the things. Yeah, she was talking about the $2 cinema and all the things. It's good entertainment. So thank you so much, Amanda. <laughs> I really enjoy watching her. I'm just saying. So, and if you notice, my, I'm eclectic. You know, I watch all the people. Like, obviously we all watch Crystal, but then I watch um, Llama Mama Kayla. I enjoy watching her make that Valentine's blanket. I mean, I watch all the channels, you know? I just enjoy it. I watch Jen over at Cinnamon Stitches. She's tons of fun to watch as well. I watch everybody. You know what I mean? But please, check out Tat Mama for me, please. Um, I would really appreciate it if she got some attention because she's a good channel. I think that, you know, her channel should be bigger than it is, in my humble opinion. And let her know that Juan sent you, please. 
I would really appreciate that. Thank you. And I love her accent. She's got that Southern accent. When I lived in Texas, everyone around me spoke like that. And I missed hearing that. And I get that from her. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to share that. So, yes, Llama Mama Kayla, she's all the things. And if she's lurking, hi. <laughs> she shouted me out on her videos. So she, I know she watches me. I was first on her list. I was like, yes. <laughs> I love that. And I didn't know she watched me. So, yep. Love Mama, 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 Kayla. I talk about all the channels at work. And, like, they're like, I don't even know who these people are, Juan. But I should because of how much you talk about them. <laughs> and it's all good things, you know? So, it's it's all the fun. Um, yeah, Cinnamon Stitches. I... For me, for her, like, I watch her because she gives me, like, a daily vlog. She's like me. Like, what am I posting today? Like, what are we talking about? What are we doing? Are we going to do all the things? Like, it could be something like comparing two skeins of yarn. I mean, I just have all the fun watching her. And she talks about the desk. She talks about... She could be mid-sentence. And then if the dog is there, she will, like, stop mid-sentence and get to the dog. And then go back to her sentence. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Like, people ask me, Juan, how do you get so much crocheting done? It's because I watch my fellow content creators. Like, they talk about all the things. And I'm just going a mile a minute. I'm like, what? That really happened? <laughs> I love it. Mm. For those of you guys who are just coming in, I'm working on Sophie's Choice. Is it? No, that's the movie with Meryl Streep. <laughs> Sophie's Universe, not Sophie's Choice. What's wrong with me, Juan? Anyway, um, I'm going to be making two of these. This one here I'm making on my own because when we do it as a group, I would like to be a resource for people to go to and be like, Juan, how does this go? And so, um, yeah. And one thing I can do, friends, is I can read a pattern because I write them. So, yeah, it's very easy. The book, piece of cake. Love it and all the things. And I will say this. I know I said it earlier, but she's my sister from another mister and I absolutely adore her. She got me the book, friends. This. I told you guys I cherish things that are given to me. So she got me this and I'm doing all the things. So the next one that I make, I'm going to be making with a group of people. and We're going to do it together. And I believe Mishy and I are going to team up and we're going to do the things together. We'll see. Details to come, okay? So, <clears throat> there's that. I didn't realize how much I enjoy doing this. Like, I say to myself, I'm, I'm live like once a week on Sundays, but I really love being in front of an audience. I really enjoy talking with you guys. <laughs> Is Russ in here? It's raining yarn. Russ, I missed your live. I'm so sorry. You just cut off and then I was coming on. Ugh. Shucks. I do want to go live more, friends, but I think what I'm going to do is come up with, um, I'll come up with something. You guys just wait. Because I love talking with you guys. Like, I'm pretending like you guys are just sitting right across from me and we're hanging out. We're having all the things. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, friends. I really appreciate them. You guys do know that with these super chats, I spoil my mother with them. And, it, and I pay for postage. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're in the makes room, by the way. I'm sure you guys know this by now. I'm in here because mom, uh, mom's room is right next door. And it's easier for her to come in here. Like I bring her in here. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. I, I bring mom in here. We sit in the makes room. We do all the things. Yeah. Oh, the book's name is Sophie's Universe, Crochet Along. And the thing I like about this, guys, is there is little tidbits, like, you know how we talk? Like, it, 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 it's not like, it's plain English, I guess, is what it is. It's plain English, and I, I enjoy it. Um... I'm sorry, I'm just reading some comments here. Thank you guys for dropping the links and all the things. Thank you, Lucas. 
the blue suits you very well. Thank you for being a part of my mod squad. I really appreciate you guys. Everybody wants to know what you're working on. So she's still working on this blanket. She said last week that she was done, but she sent me to Hobby Lobby to get more of this yarn that Nancy got her. And so now we are at, what size are we at? It's pretty big. She's going to continue going. So we're almost at queen size right now. Thank you. So all of this started from Nancy over at She's Got Yarn. She gifted mom all that yarn. She started, she ran out of that yarn. She sent me to Hobby Lobby to get more of that yarn. And so, yeah, she's not stopping. She's in love with this blanket. <laughs> I love your blanket. I know. I. She's reminding me it's hers. <laughs> I know, I know. Yep, she says, I have mine. <laughs> I have my blankets. These are all mine. These are hers. <laughs> oh, she's something else, isn't she, friends? I'm telling you, like, there's nothing I can do to, like, do any shortcuts. Right to the point. <laughs> anyway. I would like to do another... Actually, you know what? Should we give Mom the yarn? Um, yeah. I want to give Mom this yarn. I bought yarn for you. Yeah, from Michaels. I bought yarn yesterday, I think I bought for you. Yeah. Michaels. Do you want to see it? Yes? I hope you like it. If you don't like it, I'll take it, okay? <laughs> but I think you'll like it. I don't know. Here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know, you have to see. The reaction's maybe a five out of 10, I don't know. Cinnamon cakes, that's how you say cinnamon cakes. Well, we'll go over it in the video. So cinnamon cakes. So you hold your fingers like this and then with your pinky, you touch your, your, your right here, cake. And you say it, cake. How many? So I gave her, I, I got her four cakes here. Buy three, get one free right now and a 25% off coupon. <laughs> Steal and, steals and deals, friends, okay? I got her, I got her a steal and a deal. And so maybe your next project, maybe? Next? Possible? Yes? Do you like it? I know your favorite color is blue, but your favorite's blue. Yes, I know. Yeah, it's new. The design is new. Yeah, before they had blue, but no. Say, I'm hold on, guys. I'm sorry. This before they didn't have. Now with. Enjoy, enjoy it. Okay. She says, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anytime. You know, I love to spoil you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> thank you very much. I don't know what she's going to do with all the yarn that I buy her. But I buy it. I spoil you with yarn. I'm sorry. But anytime you don't want something, let me know. I'll give it away. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So she just told me before we do any giveaways like that, um, we have to give Nancy her, her happy mail. So we're still putting it together, Nancy. I'm letting her know now. <laughs> um, so Nancy has all the yarn. If you watched her videos, she's got yarn, right? That's her channel's name. She's, she's got yarn. So when we're putting a happy mail box together, we have to keep that in mind. Like, Nancy has all the yarn. You want to see yarn, you go to her channel. You'll see all the yarn. So we're trying to put together some things that either A, she hasn't seen yet, B, she hasn't tried yet, or C, maybe she'll like. So stay tuned for that. Nancy, if you get that box, I can't wait to see. Hopefully you'll record it, okay? 
<laughs> oh, so yeah, I have almost 900 people in here and almost 600 thummies. We have lots of lurkers. Welcome in. <laughs> I love it because I lurk. I'll be the first one to admit. I'll pull up a whip and I will be watching and my hands will be busy and I'll be like, I don't have time to hit the thummy. I just got to hit this corner done. <laughs> <laughs> should I hit the thummy? Yes, I should. But, you know, what goes around comes around. I know, you know. So, that's cool. Love that for me. Hi, everybody. Welcome in if you're just coming in. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day. Thummies, please. Yes. So, um, I only did one giveaway, unfortunately. But I do have another one here. Um, actually, I have two. <sighs> just trying to space it out, friends. I know I'm 45 minutes in. I try to keep it to an hour because we all have things. Um, but one of the suggestions that my mom came up with is, you know, if we're talking and it runs a few minutes over or whatever, it's fine. Maybe it's the German in me. But I love, you know, structure, you know. We start at this time. We end at this time. So I'm trying to break free from that. I'm trying to, like... If we run over, we run over. It's no big deal. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, I would like to give a mystery bag away if that is okay with you guys. I have another bag here. You want to see what's inside? Do you remember that? Remember I made... So I made a project with this yarn. And... I don't think I showcased it on my channel. Thank you so much for the super chat. But um, I decided to share some of the yummy yarns with you guys. So I hope you guys like what's in here. She is just hooking away, isn't she? She's all the things. <laughs> so um, anyway, I want that hook. That hook that my mom has. Like, she's had that since she was... I don't know. How long did you have that hook? How long? Long time. Long, long time. Maybe since you started. I think she's... Ah. Billy. Yeah. She's had that almost 50 years, that hook. Someday, I'll get that hook. <laughs> It's her hero hook, and she won't even let me touch it. Yeah. I just wondered. That's all. I was telling them they're watching you crochet. They love it. Yeah. It's all the things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's That's her prized possession. She won't let me. Every she, do, do you have another hook? Hook. 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 See this? Hook. This is a boy hook. Okay, thank you. That's the sign for hook, and can you wonder why? This is the head of the hook, and this is the, the you know, hook. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and do um, another giveaway, and the word is gonna be hook, friends. Let's do it. Hook. I promise it'll be painless, it'll be fast, and all the things, please. Okay, you do hook. I'll give you some of this mystery yumminess. Okay. Thank you. And guys, I'm already getting emails from people with constructive feedback. So thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, like I don't, I won't take it personal. I would, I would like it. I'm looking at it as an opportunity to grow my channel. So if you're seeing something that could be improved, please let me know. I would really appreciate it because I want my channel to grow and do well, okay? So I'm going to count backwards from five slowly to give everyone a time to type the word in, okay? And then I'm going to go like this and mom is going to pick. Not yet. I'm counting. Five, four, three, two, and one. So let me just do this to get everybody in. Okay. 
Guys, we have 927 people in here right now. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome, by the way. You ready to pick? Mm. Huh? Like, yeah. She said, Nancy. That's what she said. I missed it. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Mm. She put her finger down and it slid. So, go ahead. Okay, so the name is Jerry Long. G-E-R-I-L-O-N-G. -E Jerry Long. Congratulations. Email me at hookedcreations123 at gmail.com, please. Um, with your address information. So I can send the bag to you, please. Okay? Uh, she said sorry. Her finger slipped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, she feels bad. Uh, congratulations, Jerry. Just make sure to email me, okay? Anyway. So as I said earlier, I'm going to put a post out on the community tab. I would like to know um, what you guys would like to see on the channel. You know, I'm doing all the things I can think of. But is there something that you guys want to see that I haven't shown yet? Do you guys want more yarn talk? Do you guys want more tutorials? Um, someone actually sent me an email and said, just do all yarn talk. Seven days a week, just kick back and just talk yarn the entire time. Pull your hooks out, talk hooks, just talk. And I'm like, but I like teaching, you know? And I don't want my channel to just be one thing. Does any channel, uh, any channel content creator want to be just one thing? No. So I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to beat my own drum and do my thing. But if there's something that you haven't seen that you would like to see, then please let me know because I will give it a try. The one thing that I don't want to do, and I'm sorry, guys, I, I, I have to put this out there, is I'm hands off with Tunisian. I love doing Tunisian on my own. I want that to be my thing. I'll show you guys whips and things, but I don't want to showcase it on my channel at all. There are content creators out there that love Tunisian a whole lot more than me, so much so they want to teach it. So I'm all about playing in the sandbox with other content creators. You know what I mean? So someone in particular, I told her that I was going to shout her out and I'm doing it. So uh, Lynn Ann over at Need Is Knots Crochet, she does Tunisian Tuesdays. Friends, if you want to learn Tunisian, she's your person. Because the camera angle is close, the lights are clear, and she does all the things. So... Even someone like myself who has been doing um, Tunisian for a really long time, um, I learned a thing or two, you know? I have an appreciation for all forms of uh, fiber arts. So even though something may not be my forte, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? So Nina's not crochet. Please, you know, visit her channel. Subscribe, please. Tell her I sent you. Because she's a good friend of mine. She's a great content creator. Um, she's about the yarn. Okay. And she's about her journey. And all the things. <laughs> okay. So keep the hat patterns coming. Okay. Well, thank you. Because, you know, I'm a little insecure about that. You know, I don't, I, I always worry, like, am I doing too much? Am I doing the most? You know? So I'm glad you guys are getting that. Um... So, yes, thank you guys who were subscribing to Lenan. Um, again, she's a friend of mine, you know, and I really want to see her channel do well. I want everyone's channel to do well. Who am I kidding? You know what I mean? But, you know, she's doing Tunisian. That is like her thing. She does crochet. She does knit. But she's trying to get the Tunisian, like, out to as many people as possible. And so I'm helping her do that. So, please. Check out her Tunisian videos. Check out all the things, please. Okay? And you're very welcome, Lin Ann. You deserve it. You work hard, and you deserve recognition. So thank you. Um, there's something that I am doing now. So a lot of people are reaching out to me, wanting me to shout out their channels. And listen, 
I don't mind shouting out channels, but I would like to review, like look at the content before I shout out the channels. I don't want to blindly shout channels out without looking first. So if I'm not shouting out your channel, it's either A, I haven't seen it yet, or B, maybe, you know, we need to have a little chat. Maybe I can give you some advice. Um, not saying that there's anything wrong, but maybe, you know, maybe let me tell you why I'm not shouting out your channel. Okay. Um, because I want people to rely on my suggestions. So if I'm telling you to, you know, check out a channel, it's because I watched and I really think that, you know, they have some really good content. So I say all that to say that I'm just going to take my time with the shout outs. Like I, if I'm shouting you out, it's because I watched your content. I really enjoy your content and I want other people to enjoy it as well. Okay. So little PSA right there. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay. So thank you to that. Congratulations to the winners today. I will tell you, I am going to run a little over an hour. So if there's someone there somewhere that you have to be, please, um, no love lost. I know you guys are here for me and I really appreciate it, but I, um, I want to be here for a few extra minutes if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really like being here with you guys and I only get to do this once a week. So I'm definitely going to need to do this more. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> so yes, I am the real deal. I like to think so. And for those of you guys who have met me in person, you can vouch for me. What you see is what you get, you know? So that's cool. <laughs> Moose. Uh, yes. So yeah. Yeah. Please. If you guys, if any of you guys have to go by all means catch the replay, you know, it's perfectly fine. So there's someone else that, um, is doing a thing. Um, so I, I need to get with Nancy first to figure out when she's collecting, uh, blankets. I know the whole thing just stopped. So by no means am I saying everyone send blankets now, but I need to know some dates as far as like when that's happening, because something I want to do on my channel friends is I want to participate in the Boggy Creek. So I want to make, well, mom already does it, but I want to do it too. And so I want like a little snippet of my week to be, let's do some Boggy Creeks situations. <laughs> I want to do some tutorials. I want to come up with some patterns and designs. Um, I want to teach. I want to share, you know. So I want to do some corner to corner Boggy Creek blankets. I would like to do all the things. Okay. Oh, Nancy starts again in August. Okay. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Because, you know, if you're making Boggy Creek blankets all year long, you're going to eventually need some ideas. You're going to have to, you're wondering to yourself, like, okay, I've done granny squares. I've done this. I've done that. I need some other ideas. So all the things. Um, I hope you guys um, are okay with that. So I promise, you know, I'll try and keep it interesting and all the things. Okay. So, yeah. So Boggy Creek blankets it was a whole thing. Um, it's actually, it's a thing. So if you go over to Nancy's channel over at She's Got Yarn 2, um, she has this whole thing where, you know, she w took all the blankets down to Florida or she's in Florida, but she took it, <laughs> she took it to a place in Florida and it was all the things and just check out her channel. I, I I'm going to butcher it and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Um, Boggy Creek, yes, Boggy Creek, and um, Lynn Ann's channel, she also did a little snippet of, like, what went on that day, um, when they went to the thing. Oh, so cool. So, yeah, thank you, Lucas, for putting up Nancy's channel. Dawn is in. Hi, Dawn. Welcome in. So glad that you're here. Um, yeah, thank you. It made the local news there. Yep. So I definitely want to participate. Um, okay, so also uh, Lynn Ann is on the board. They have a group of people who was in charge of, you know, directing and all the things. So a point of contact could also be Lynn Ann over at Nina's Knots. Nina's Knots Crochet. Okay, I had to pause because, you know, squirrel. <laughs> it's a thing still, guys. I'm trying to shake it. Like, I'll be mid-sentence and then I'll lose my train of thought and then I'll be like, squirrel. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you guys so much. So, I keep getting asked about my blankets. Okay, so the blankets that you're seeing behind me, so there's a handful of these blankets that are mementos that I'm going to be moving to the other side of the room, but the vast majority of what you're seeing is going to be donated. These are donated blankets. I actually use a lot of um, uh, value yarns, like, um, why can't I think? Um, mainstays. I use mainstays. I use Big Twist. I use all the things I use every day. Um, but this here is Karen Cakes. This here is Bernat Blanket. That over there, that, um, I don't know what color that is. Corn, corn yellow. I don't know. Brown. Sorry, I'm pointing. That's Isaac Mizrahi's yarn. Um, back when AC Moore was a thing, I bought it on clearance. Original price $14.99 a skein for 50 grams. I'm like, no. But I bought an entire bag for $3 when it went on clearance when the store closed. So, yeah, I'm going to donate all of this. And then up top there, you can't see it, but I have laundry bags filled with blankets that I'm going to donate as well. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So, um, I am talking with my mod squad right now about... Um, some ideas that I have. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. Um, is that who I think it is that just came in here? Dania, hi, welcome in. Um, the It's Just a series, like It's Just a Hat. We have, I compiled, well, my mod, Jen, she compiled a list of things that people are requesting and I'm gonna put out videos, tutorials for those things. So um, I definitely wanna roll those out. If you guys have any ideas in terms of like what you wanna see, the point of it is, is we're going to have simple patterns, things that people can actually crochet that's not like too complicated, like the hat. It's all half double crochets in the back loop and it looks great. So the list is going to be a list of things like that, that, you know, we can make like, it's just a sweater, but it'd be a basic pattern that you can make a lot of, um, nothing too complicated. Um, what else was on that list? A sweater, ear warmers, headband leg warmers, fingerless gloves, scarf. So it'll be all the things. Like every video will come out left and right hand and it'll the series will be it's just a whatever. So um, you can choose to participate or not. It doesn't matter. But just know that it'll always be there in case you want a basic sweater that you can throw together really quick. It'll be there for you. Okay? So yeah. I like basic patterns because it's mindless, it's fast, I don't have to stress out about sizing um, and all the things, it's just going to be basic. And you know, it's what you wear with it, and it's also who wears it, you know what I mean? Hi Pauline, welcome in, I'm glad you made it here. So a tambore, you know that star blanket, uh, blanket, I have blankets on the brain. So the stargazer um, slouchy. So, I was thinking about making that into a TAM. What do you think? <laughs> some, 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 uh, some of my followers and subscribers have been asking for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hello. I know the chat's moving fast, but I promise you that I, I do see it. Um, it, it, would, it wouldn't sound right if I just read it as fast as I'm reading it. Honestly, I don't know what a TAM actually means. I do know it's like a hat that people um, with dreads, they, you know, pack all their hair into it. And it's like a band and it holds all the hair to like get it, you know, up off their back or their shoulders or whatever. Thank you so much, guys. If you guys are bouncing out of here, have a great night. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming in. You guys are all the things. Thank you. And if you're coming in, welcome. I appreciate it. This one's going to run a little longer than an hour because I really want to spend some time with you guys. And also, too, I, mom is just crocheting like a machine over here. And so while she's crocheting, that's my little note that you, we, we're good to continue. So as you can see, she loves doing it. She does it all day. <laughs> so, yeah, love that for you guys hat for lots of hair yes if you have really long hair if you just have a lot of hair a tam holds that all in so mm. 
I was supposed to go to Canada for my vacation, but I couldn't find anyone to watch mom while I was away. My plans fell through, so it's a staycation and I'm all okay with that. Canada will be next time. Maybe when the weather gets uh, warmer. Good night if you guys are going. Welcome if you're coming in and all the things. <laughs> oh yes, the favorite magic yarn. It is. It's very soft. Yep, I actually just ordered more of it yesterday. Yes, I do love Canada. I've been asking, like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, people have been asking me, like, what is your thing with Canada? Because I do shout Canada out a lot. I want to get into a whole thing about it, but it's not, like, yarn related, so, like, why bring it up? But I'll give you a little snippet, a little Reader's Digest story of why I love Canada so much. <clears throat> In 2012, my, my mother and I went through the process on uh, becoming citizens in Canada, express entry, all the things, because I was supposed to be a translator um, and I was supposed to teach in Canada. And so all of that, you know, happened. It was a thing. And um, that's that year is the year that my mom got diagnosed with what's wrong now. And they wouldn't let her in because she has a pre-existing condition. So she wasn't granted entry when it was time for us to actually go to Canada. So she had to stay, so I stayed. And she told me, you know, I know how bad you wanted to go to Canada and everything, all your friends and all the things, but um, please go as much as you, you want. You know, we even thought about moving to Buffalo just to be closer, but um, I have a lot of friends in Canada. And, you know, Canada for me was supposed to be a thing. You know, I was supposed to teach there. I was supposed to, you know, do translation services there. Um, yeah, but that fell through. And that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. It just wasn't meant to be. But I do, I visit frequently. So I, I do love Canada. And all the people that are there. <laughs> so that is why I talk about Canada so much. Because it was supposed to be a thing. So, and obviously... If I'm telling you guys that I wanted to be in Canada and I wanted to be an, uh, a citizen and I did all the things, you obviously know that I love snow. <laughs> I love snow. I love ice. I love cold weather. I love all the things. All the things can't. All the things cold. <laughs> and I'm a July baby. I'm, I was born in the summer. Go figure. I, I don't know. I can't figure that out myself. But I've been to all the provinces except for Alberta. Um, in Saskatchewan. I, I haven't been to those two, but I've been to literally every other one. So, yes, there are some very good content creators in Canada. Urban Yarn is one of them. Maybe someday we'll cross paths. I don't know. Mikey from the Crochet Crowd is in Canada on the opposite side. It's all the things. See, the thing about being cold, and, and here's the thing, like, if you're in Canada, you can always get the heat to warm yourself, theoretically speaking. Like, we're yarny folks, right? We make blankets, we do things to stay warm. But when you're hot, I mean, it is harder to cool off from the heat than it is to get warm from the cold. In my opinion, and I'm probably wrong about that, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> but, yeah, so... <laughs> it's easier to like get warm in my opinion than it is to get cold so PEI see love that for us tell all your friends up there about me please <laughs> so yeah <laughs> uh, I don't have the the whole a boot thing like for me it's not a thing it doesn't matter I do hear it come out of uh, some of my friends uh, sentences and things, but it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> yes, PEI is a dream. I love that whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> so I do want to tell you guys about something that I am toying with right now. And it may, I mean, I don't know how people are going to receive this information, but I'm just going to roll it out there anyway. Um, so I purposely have not started any type of memberships. I wanted to be completely, you know, no walls, no, no, nothing like that, you know. Um, but I would like to do um, little projects like this with groups of people. 
Um, and so I am thinking about starting some sort of a membership where we can actually be together just a small group of people who want to specifically do projects like crochet alongs and live uh, discussions about things like that. Like I can come on live, but what's the reality of you guys joining a live with this many people and actually getting a chance to talk about things like this, you know? So I am thinking about it, and I know not everyone's going to be for it, but just know that all of my content will remain the same. I'm actually going to dump more of myself into my channel, but make it exclusive. Um, you know, so I, I don't know what the reception of this will be like, but I am toying with the idea of having a, a, a membership uh, where if you guys want to be a member, then we're going to do things in smaller groups. I don't know. So I'm going to talk about it a little more with some of my content creator friends, but um, yeah, I want to do something with just an exclusive group of people that's not really, you know, 800 or 900 or 1,000 people, you know. Um, we can do projects, we can talk more close, and then also, too, um, Mishy gave me a great idea um, about doing a Zoom Live once a week where we can just have conversations and I get to, you know, be more intimate and have that one-on-one -on -one conversation or not one-on-one, -on -one, but you know what I mean. So I'm thinking about that. Okay. She says the blanket is heavy. She did not finish the blanket. You finished or still more? Still more. <laughs> Me? Oh, okay. Yes. I'm sorry. She asked me the other day, she's like, should I do more? I'm like, you should. <laughs> so she's going because I told her. <laughs> but yes, if there's a way that I think you guys can support me, I think it would be through memberships, um, just doing things like this. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not disappearing. I'm not going to do all extra things. Like with it. everything that you're seeing now will be exactly the same. You're going to see a video every day. You're going to see me every Sunday, but I want to do more and I don't want to ram things down everyone's throat. So if we do the memberships, then we get to do things like that in smaller groups. I know I just said all that, but yeah. You okay? Okay. The yarns? No, no, no. Uh, Somebody told me to help you. I saw the comment. Help uh, mom. Thank you. She said she wants to do it herself. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I again, I just want to thank all of you guys for being here. Like, I, I oh, by the way, if you're not into my Facebook group, my Facebook group, I mean, for what it is, it's in my opinion, it's it's a very nice size. Um, I do go live on there, and the group is a lot smaller. Um, so I, I get to see more comments and all the things. So if you're not into my Facebook group, um, consider joining because we share our makes there. It's literally a place, no drama, stress-free. You go in there, you share your makes, you look at all the things and you talk about it. Um, and that's really all it is. But once a week or maybe twice a week, I go live in there to just talk and have a good time and all the things. And so if you're interested, please uh, consider joining that group. Um, I think uh, you can find it. I don't know how to link it, but... It's uh, one, the yarn addict and friends, you know, and guys, you don't have to join the membership by all means. You stay free. It's perfectly okay. Nothing's going to change. The memberships are for people who would like more exclusive content working one on one with me or in a smaller group. We're going to do like Sophie's Universe. We're going to do all the things. OK, so anyway, um. So yeah, Facebook group, Juan the Yarn Addict and Friends. I also have a fan page over there. Um, it's just Juan the Yarn Addict. We love, I love having all the people. So if you're on Facebook, consider that, okay? <laughs> you okay? Oh, you burped. She said sorry, but she doesn't have to. I haven't started it yet. I'm just considering it, okay? So, um, yeah. So... <sighs> The only reason why I'm considering the memberships is one, um, it's the only way that I can get a, 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 like a smaller group of people because if I come on like this, I'm, I'm always gonna have larger groups like this. I don't, 
you know, I'm not going to have like a smaller group of people. So um, I'd like to be able to do this with a smaller group of people and it's, I'm not going to tell people to not come. So if I do that, I know a smaller group of people will come and we'll get to do things like that. If you want the smaller group and you don't have, you don't want the membership, join the Facebook group because the Facebook group is more exclusive. It's a lot smaller. She's laughing at me because of me using my hands. But um, yeah, join the Facebook group. If you, if you don't want to do the membership, you don't want to pay for the membership, that's fine. Just go to my Facebook, join the group there. I go live once a week there as well. So you get to see me twice a week, like, you know, and we talk about all the things. Yes, thank you for the recommendation, Yarning. I really appreciate that. So, yes, um, please make sure that you email me, guys, if you have won uh, the giveaway. Um, yeah, I, one thing I will tell you guys is I do not tolerate any drama in my group. I make it known. You come in. It's a good place. It's fun. We share our makes. You take pictures of your things. We share. We talk about it. We support each other. Um, but the minute anyone gets negative, you're out. I mean, I don't like any of that grandstanding. I don't like soapbox sessions. None of that is allowed in my Facebook group. If you do it, you're out. But... If you like a very positive place and you like sharing makes and you like watching and looking at people's things, then come on and join. Okay? No drama. I don't like it. <laughs> no drama. Soapbox sessions. That's when you get on the page and you complain and you're all negative and you want everybody to see it. I mean, I had someone stand on the soapbox a few days ago and did this whole thing. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Nip, nipped it right in the bud. Out you go. And so, yeah, that's what we do. Grandstanding is the same thing, except doing it all in capital letters. And you're you're shouting out to everybody on the page. That's grandstand, you know, and you're, you know, calling people out and being negative. Nope. So, on my Facebook, it's no drama. 100%. And it's, it's a zero tolerance policy on that. No, it's okay, Yanda. I meant on the Facebook. <laughs> Keyboard warriors, right, friends? They're everywhere. They hide under bridges, behind closed doors. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Keyboard warriors. But the minute you ask them to come out into the open, they don't. What they do is they they um, exit the room, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, yes. Yes, have a great night if you guys are going, if you're sticking around. Um, and it, I'm only going to be on here for a couple more minutes, okay? Um, yeah. I don't know how people stay on here for a really, really long time. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> uh, yes, we're still... Mishy, um, guys, listen. I bounce a lot of ideas off of people, and Mishy had some really great ideas, so I can't wait to reconnect with her about that, because I think that... You know, what we're talking about has some really great um, things for you guys. So, yeah, excitement can be all caps if it's all positive. But if it's negative, it's it's grandstanding. Okay. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Well, thank you. If you're here, thank you for coming in. Um, I won't be on too much longer. Just a couple minutes because I have one final giveaway to give away. Um, but, yeah. I just really enjoy hanging out with you guys and just KB crochet. Truer words haven't been said. Keep it cute or out it on mute. That's so good. <sighs> oh, and you know what, KB, I did get your email and you just reminded me of something because several people um, have reached out to me um, with an idea of a channel review. Good night, Mishy. Good night, Mishy. Um, you guys gave me a really great idea for like to, to do a channel review. So like if there are new channels out, you guys email me with channel names. I think that's a great idea because what I can do is come on here, maybe not a live, but I can do a video and review their channel with you guys. That would be so cool. I'm thinking about that. Anyway, um, what cr size crochet hook does my mom use? Um, what size hook do you use? Hook. She's going to check. Hi, Yvonne, by the way. 
Thank you so much for the uh, happy mails that you've been sending me and mom. Mom's happy mail hasn't been opened yet. Um, H. I, I signed to you. I'm sorry. H. Okay. So, Miss Yvonne H. <laughs> Somebody asked. They want to know. <laughs> she said, oh. <laughs> Yeah, H. So, um, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a a, re a weekly recap of the sign, right? So, I want to do that once a week. So, in my videos, in my podcasts, I'm going to teach you guys um, signs. We're going to learn colors. Um, colors. We're going to learn colors. We're going to learn numbers. We're gonna learn yarn related content, like how do you sign this, how do you sign that, in crochet, knit, all the things. Good night, Nancy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. I really do. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys sign language and all the things, but that'll be like, once a week I'll do like a recap of all the things that we covered throughout the week so you're not missing out on anything. But here's the thing, guys. I wanna know if you feel I should be doing that on my yarn content channel or my other channel. So I, ha I had a channel since 2007. I have never used it. There's nothing on there. But I thought maybe I can keep that stuff somewhere else. Or should I keep it here? What do you think? Let me know. If you guys think I should keep the sign language here, that'll be fine. Or should I do both channels? Because I do have another channel. It's, I do have another channel. <laughs> I've had that channel since 2009, 2010. I had it a really long time. I like it personally here. I'm keeping it exclusive with you guys. Um... But I do have that other channel for those of you guys who don't want to see it. I don't want to lose subscribers because I'm starting sign language. I'm just saying. Like, that would break my heart to know that you have signed up to watch me because of yarn. And then here I'm doing sign. And then all of a sudden you're like, no. I'm here for yarn. Even though sign language can have yarn content infused in it. If that makes any sense. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it here. Because a lot of people are into it. If it's going to keep you guys here to watch my content, then yes, we're going to do it. We're going to do all the things. But, um, you know. Yeah. Okay. You guys are giving me all the feedback right now. Okay, keep it here. Okay, friends. We're going to keep it here. <laughs> we'll keep it here, I promise. We'll do weekly recaps. So throughout the podcast, I'll teach you little phrases and words and things. And then just know... That once a week, we'll go ahead and recap all the things. And we'll go slow, and you can take your time, and we'll have fun. Um, and I will tell you that the sign language that I know, and the sign language that I'm sharing with you guys, is the sign language that I use for my mother. Okay? So, there are newer signs that I don't know yet, because we don't use all of the new signs. Because my mom is 80, you are going to be 80 years old. So I'm showing you all of the original sign language, okay? So um, if there's any keyboard warriors out there waiting to correct me, just know that what I'm showing you is how I talk to my mother, okay? So yeah, we'll keep it here for you guys. If that's what you want, we'll keep it here, okay? I'm sorry the table's shaking. My coffee, I still have coffee. <laughs> so yeah. As you guys know, like, I'm trying to keep it, you know, tight-knit, like, yarn content. And, but my mom is here. You know, I, I'm sharing my mom with you guys, and she's a deaf mute. And so it only makes sense to share sign language with you guys. So that's the point on why I'm sharing the sign language, because I have gotten emails asking why. Why the sign? It's fine. I'm okay with it. So I let them know, like, my mom is deaf. All of my followers and subscribers love my mother. Why not share the sign language, you know? And if it's thing that you guys want, then I'm going to give it to you guys, you know? So that's why I share the sign, okay? 
But as far as everything else, I think like if it's non-yarn yarn content and it's like personal, I think like that should be kept separate. You know what I mean? And if you're inclined to want to know anything about me outside of what I show, then maybe you can just either take me to dinner first <laughs> or send me an email and ask me if you if you're really wanting to know something about my life. Take me to dinner <laughs> or send me an email. Okay? <laughs> yeah dinner yes take me to dinner first let's break bread <laughs> if you're not taking me to dinner you're not knowing anything else okay and guess what i will fly to you i flew to florida i will fly to you so yes dinner time okay anyway <laughs> If you haven't noticed, I'm old school. I, yeah, I'm very traditional when it comes to things like that. So like, yeah, I, I learned from my mother to, you know, compartmentalize things. And, you know, that's why I don't overly share on the public platform because it is a public platform, you know? So yeah, anyway. <laughs> Yes, my mom is slowly becoming the star of my own uh, weekly lives, and I'm here for it. I'm, I'm supporting mama, you know, so it is okay. You enjoying watching all the comments? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, she's noticing that people are saying goodnight and things like that, but there's still 800 of you guys in here. She's saying, she's talking about, um, she's reading, where did you see that? Oh, she was reading the comments where somebody had said something about the cops being outside and all the things. She was reading all that. So that's, she was all into the conversation. Oh, it, it left. But yeah, she's a good, re she's a good reader. She uh, reads all the things. Uh, oh, she's talking about the weather. Oh, okay. You enjoying yourself? Awful. <laughs> she loves doing this, by the way, guys. <laughs> anyway. Oh, someone asked the size of something. She said she doesn't know. It went too fast for her. Anyways, thank you so much, Scandalous, for coming in here. I really appreciate you guys. For some reason, I don't know why, my friends, but like, she loves being here. With, I think it's because we're sitting next to each other, honestly. She loves this one-on-one -on -one time that we have. Yes, she's the co-anchor. <laughs> the co-star of our weekly Sunday lives. But yeah, you enjoy yourself being here today? Yeah, it's fun? You read all the things? Yes? Yes. This is yes, by the way, friends. You're going to learn a sign today. Make a fist and go like this. This is your head. Yes. <laughs> yes 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 oh and that also means when you're nodding when you're nodding to somebody and you're not really paying them any mind you're going uh-huh uh-huh yes yep yep okay so you also do that as well so it's either yes or you're nodding at them so yeah <laughs> oh, love it Guess what, guys? These emails are coming in. Like I mentioned before on my videos that I get a lot of emails. But friends, while I've been sitting here, I think I counted like 25 emails popping in. Like I can see them coming through on the top of the screen. I get a lot of emails from you guys. And I'm here for it. Just be patient, please. Because you guys send me a lot of email. <laughs> no, oh, I'm short. This is the sign for short. I'll teach you guys all this later. But I feel short in the chair. It's too bad. I'm low. She's got the soft chair. I put a whole bunch of cushions so she could sit there for a while. My email is hookedcreations123 at gmail.com. Thank you for asking for my email. And I live in Delaware. Woo! It's called Nowhere Delaware. Because <laughs> everywhere that is something is around me. I'm right in the middle of all these places. Love it. So I can get to Jersey, Maryland, uh, Virginia, Pennsylvania, 
all within, well, maybe not Virginia. Virginia's about an hour away from me, south. I can get to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland within 30 minutes or less. So, yeah, that's why I love it here. That's why I can go to all the Michaels and all the Walmarts and all the Joann's. That's why I have so much yarn, because I can get to all the stores. I could do all the things. <laughs> Uh, love it. I, I have actually driven from here to D.C. I can get from here to D.C. in about an hour and a half. Yeah, I love being central. And um, I saw someone say I'm from PA, Stitching on the Hill. We're from PA. I moved here about five or so years ago and then bought this house two years ago. But from Pennsylvania, um, a little town outside of uh, Philly called King of Prussia, Norristown area. That's where that's where I'm from. And yeah, so we moved to Philly in the late 90s and have been there. And then, you know, I went to college for six years, did the whole thing. And then, yeah, I'm in Delaware. Love it. <laughs> um, do I have a privately owned yarn shop? No, I do not. I have a privately owned residence with all the yarn. <laughs> he's got yarn <laughs> so yeah I have tons of yarn but that's because and I'm glad you mentioned that because I have been asked many times Juan what are you doing with all that yarn why do you have all that yarn I'm a content creator friends my yarnscape is not supposed to be like everyone else's I'm supposed to have all that yarn because I'm a yarn content creator like, I can create content with a little bit of yarn, but who wants to watch that? You want to watch somebody that has all the yarn. You know what I mean? So, that's why I have all the yarn. And I'm supposed to. But I don't expect my viewers to have all that yarn. You guys are not supposed to have all that yarn. Because you're, you're not creating content. You're watching the content. You're the watcher. So, have as much as you need. But for me, I'm a complete and utter yarn addict. By every stretch of the imagination, my friends. Like, I was on the phone talking to one of my mods about yarn on one screen, and then I was over here ordering yarn. And I don't need the yarn because I bought the same yarn last week, but I felt like I needed more yarn. <laughs> so, Denise, you're in the Poconos, so our extended family lives up there in Berwick um, by uh, Nescapec and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> Christine K, you're je you're impressed and a little jealous. Please don't be because it has taken me years to accumulate my yarn. But remember that I'm supposed to have that because, you know, who wants to watch a content creator with a blank wall behind them? No, nobody. I want to watch somebody that has all the things and stare at the yarn while, you know, you talk about the things, you know. <laughs> oh, yes you're a yarn hoarder will not be getting help for it that's right you hoard that yarn i always have a saying friends if you have a place for it whether it's in a bin in a basket on the shelf if there's a place for it you're good and when there isn't a place for it put it in a bag <laughs> oh, i love yarn it puts me in a good mood give me a good value acrylic and a whole bunch of it come on it doesn't get any better than that. Speaking of which, my friends, Premier has a sale right now on Eversoft yarn, $2 a skein. Um, you get the three pack for six bucks. Just letting you know. Yes, I am enabling you. <laughs> Hit the link, you know, let them know that I sent you. <laughs> two dollars a skein and the eversoft is sim uh, is similar to karen simply soft so if you're into that kind of yarn by all means jump on it there's like 25 different colorways to choose from anyway um i am personally not a fan of that kind of yarn but i'm a content creator and so i have to force myself to get some so i can do a comparison so you guys you know um with Eversoft, guys, I would highly recommend making wearables with it. So like hats, sweaters, scarves, and things. 
Um, I would not recommend like blankets and things. I mean, you could, but mm, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> move to Delaware for the beaches. Yes, that is goals. So Rehoboth, uh, Bethany Beach, um, Lewis, all those beaches down there. It's all the things. Love it. Um, has anyone had the bingo yarn from Hobby it is so, that is so soft? No, I haven't. I thought about it, but just haven't um, had the time to actually shop that store because I'm shopping all of the other stores. Night Night Terry, thank you so much for stopping by. I keep forgetting that my UK folks are five hours ahead of us. Yes. Well, remember guys, I'm one of 11 kids, so we're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, 11 children altogether didn't come from her. Um, my father and my mother split in 1992. He got remarried. My mom never remarried. So the children that she had with my father were all together. So it's four and seven. So seven of them are my half-sisters, just to let you know. Um, oh, I, can I just tell you guys, please make sure that if you're asking to join my group, that you answer the questions, please. Um, there's three questions. I should have uh, messaged, I should have me uh, said that earlier. I apologize. You guys have to answer the three questions because my, my mods have to, um, there, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting messages from my mod squad. Um, they have to vet you guys to just make sure that there's no bots. Okay. It is a private group, and we we want to make sure that, one, you guys are willing to share makes, and two, that you are there for yarn content and no drama. <laughs> anyway, my father was busy. He was very busy. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah. Anywho. Um, so, yeah. There's that. All right. I want to do one final giveaway before we get off of this. Um... I have one bag here, and um, and then we're gonna do the giveaway. And that yes, I am the, Ruthie. I'm the only son. It's all all females, all females. I'm the only son. I don't know how I survived, but I did. Um, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> Anywho, so I have this one here that I would like to give away to you guys. I really love the colors in this. Look, look. She said she's nosy. She said it, not me. Don't take it out. Beautiful colors. Look. What do you think? Good? Pretty? She likes it. So. Somebody's going to win. One minute. Here. Win. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> do you like the yarn or not? Do you like? So th this yarn is not her preference. Okay. She's saying it's thin. And I will tell you because she let the cat out of the bag. That is a three weight yarn in here. Look how much three weight yarn is in this bag. Okay. So it may be three weight. She doesn't like three weight yarn. She's four weight only. We, we venture out. We do six weight. We do three weight, you know, all the things. Okay. Yes. Nancy doesn't like three weight yarn. <laughs> Nancy likes four weight. Same. Uh, yes, see? Sorry. <laughs> Her reaction wasn't great because she doesn't like three weight uh, yarn, but that's more uh, for us. Yes, she's saying she's out. That's right, she's out. The, the three weight yarn is not for her. <laughs> okay. All right, so anyway, now here's the thing, and I gotta tell you guys this. The, the skein says that it's a four weight. You know how I am. If I feel like it's a three, it's a three. And so it says it's a four, but it's a three. Okay? 
That's why I tried to compensate. You know, I like to overcompensate. See? I'm overcompensating for the situation because it says it's a four weight yarn, but no, 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 no. When you feel it, it's a three. Okay? We love all the weights, right? We don't discriminate. Puzzle Shimmer on sale, Marie Max and $5.99. Mishy, I'm on it. Thank you. As soon as the live is over, I'm ordering. <laughs> Thank you, Mishy. Okay. So, what's the word, friends? Word, thank you. So the, the word is going to be, yeah, don't forget the thummies, please. I appreciate that. Um, okay. <laughs> so, okay, the word is going to be friend, okay, for this, this lovely four-weight yarn that's technically a three-weight, okay? So the word is friend. If you're interested in all the things, I love you guys. You guys are so cool. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed. You guys are so cool. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to give a second for the, you guys to type all the things and then I'll do the, this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to count backwards from five. So five, four, three, Two and one. Go ahead. Janet Dixon. Janet, I can't believe you won the mystery bag. <laughs> Janet. Janet won the mystery Janet. bag. Janet Dixon. She's a friend of the channel. She's a friend of mine and my mom's. That's so cool. Congratulations, Janet. I'm so happy. I even I have your address, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Congratulations, Janet. Thank you. I love it when... Listen, I love it when people win my prizes, but I love it even more when good-hearted people who are kind win because, you know, it's what goes around comes around. You know, she's so kind to me and my mother. And so I'm so thankful that I have her as a friend and that she's a friend of the channel and a friend of my mom's. She's so, so kind. So thank you, Janet, for, uh, I'm thanking you for winning one of my prizes, but congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so yes, with that, friends, I'm going to wrap up here. So just a few little tidbits and then I am um, jumping off. So... Um, one, I just want to thank you guys for being here. Every Sunday, 6 p.m., it's a thing. We hang out. We do all the things. Um, two, we have some updates, some admin updates that we'll be rolling out, okay? Um, stay tuned for that. I will probably pop on and tell you guys all the things when I'm ready. And um, three, make sure that if you're going to join my Facebook group, please answer the three questions, please. Um, my mods cannot approve you if you haven't answered the questions, okay? And then, um, if and when you're ready to become a member, I will announce that whole membership thing, but right now, it's still in the works. I'm ironing out details. And, um, is next week, March 3rd is Mom's, um, birthday live, okay? So, anyway, um, have a great night. Don't forget, winners, please email me. Um, your address, except uh, for Janet, I have yours. But have a good night, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. And until next time, have a good one. Bye. Say bye. Bye, bye. bye everybody. <laughs>